Neat Games! Hello, Neat Games here, and this is my second devlog for my new game, Heat Seed. Its concept so far is a farming RPG, plus steam technology, plus nature magic. I'm inspired by games like Stardew Valley, top-down dungeon crawlers, and roguelikes. I want to have random dungeon exploration, and cool boss fights and dungeon puzzles like in top-down Zelda games, plus simple RPG farming elements. I think compared to Stardew, my farming will be a little bit more simplified. I'm finding it's really hard to code that stuff. And this will be my second Steam game. If you didn't know, my first Steam game was Super Neat Cat. I made it in less than a year and learned a bunch about game development. You can get it now on Steam. These past two weeks, I didn't have as much time for game development, but surprisingly, I still got a bunch of work done. I spent a lot of time making this character customizer. The method I studied worked really well, but you have to make a lot of pixel art because you draw the character's body parts and positions all separately. You can make the main character first and then cut it up in the separate pieces and make a big sprite sheet with that. Then the code, it switches them in and out for different parts. And for the gray parts, it tints them with color. Originally, the hair and pants could be tinted to any color with a color picker in the Unity editor. But after looking up how to code a color picker UI in a game, I decided to just have fixed colors for now because it seemed super complicated or you had to purchase like an asset. Even making the fixed color tinter was confusing. I didn't know that in Unity a color is represented from 0 to 1. So to get the RGB code, you write it as number F divided by 255 F and that seemed to work. And now the character creator works really well. So many cool options. Um, this is a temporary creation UI. I hope to make it better looking by giving it things like little arrow buttons to do previous and next. So I'll keep working on that. And now let's look at a bunch of different examples. The next big thing I learned how to do was making NPCs that move between the different scenes and have completely adjustable schedules. What do you think I should name them? John Doe here walks around and he also digs and drinks from his canteen. Jane Doe can only walk but I hope to have some other cool idle animations for her. So now the scene feels pretty lively with these two walking around throughout the days. Also, I made the night transition better. It's not just from night to day. It took me a while to get it to work. First, I tried to do it with a fading code and failed. Then I tried animation triggers and failed. Finally, I got the best result with animation bool triggers. I hope to have cool lighting effects at night eventually. Probably by using sprite masks, or perhaps finally learning Unity 2D lights. Next, you might have noticed there are some simple sounds now. I got them all from freesound.org. I also learned that many game devs like to compress sounds and music into OGG file format. It makes the files super small, but still sounds good. What file format do you usually use for your games? Oh, also, I made the Corice crop. I liked that name the best. Thanks for all the suggestions on my YouTube post. Also, I made it so when you pick the Corice, the plant isn't destroyed and continues to grow new Corice crops. 
Not sure what crop I'll do next, but let me know if you have any other cool crop ideas. They're, my ideas are they should be a combo. Like someone had a cool one. It was um, cabbage and cauliflower, and they called it like cauli badge. I might do that one. It sounds really cool, cauli badge. But yeah, let me know if you have any other cool crop combo ideas. I started to make a simple health system. This is the tentative UI bar and it takes damage. And if the health reaches zero, there's a death screen. Lastly, I made a player dash and an attack projectile. I struggled for five hours on the dash alone. It was really hard to make it work with this four-way animation style. I reused some code I learned from previous Game Jam games. And here is the first enemy. Its name is Rocksquito. It's a mosquito plus rock. I think many of my enemies will have kind of a mosquito theme. Because in real life, I really, really hate mosquitoes. I love every other nature thing, but I hate mosquitoes. I basically used a similar code from Super Neat Cat's Rock Spider Enemy. They even leave behind some death splatters that fade away. I hope this shows how I want to have some cool top-down combat in my game compared to Stardew. I want it to be very action-packed and have lots of movement. So what do you think about the progress so far? Please join the Discord and brainstorm with me. Plus there are a bunch of super neat game devs there to chit chat with and brainstorm your ideas with. If you'd like to support me, please consider purchasing Super Neat Cat for you or a friend if you feel like playing a simple, original Nintendo-like platforming game. Thanks for watching, and it would be super neat if you would subscribe and hit that like button. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Neat games.